Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And it's still hot and it's still September. And I found this really cool silicone four chambered ice cube tray and I was going to use it for something else but right now I'm going to try and use it as a palette because yesterday, although it'll be just a minute ago for you guys, um, I covered a painting and in the end I used my basting brush, my trimmed up basting brush. I think I shook this. I'm not sure I want that color. I am pretty sure I want this color though. And I had some orange around here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's in the container already. I guess when I'm done with the colors, if I have too many of them, I will probably do something else with them because that would be cool. But in the meantime, here's what we're working on. Glasses are on my head. I forgot the frozen thing around my neck. And um, even though I really like most of this, and I wish I'd had some some white, I'm thinking that I would like to play with it some more. And so, in order to finish it in front of you, that's pretty much exactly what's going to happen. And I'm just going to go where I feel like going. When don't I do that? <laughs> I do that always. I might not need any of the paint that I've got in, in here other than this one color, which most people know is my favorite color, which is a neon multi-surface acrylic by Folk Art. And I have had a lot of fun lately with my bristle trimmed basting brush. But I think that's too much of that right there. And in order to keep the marks coming, I'm going to have to decide whether I'm going to clean off my brush or not. I really can't wait to use the black. I want to see what the black does. And I'm not sure, you know, if I can grab another one of these trim it a different way, if I'll make different marks, chances are good. I really don't want to muff this up. I guess in a second I could dip it in a bucket of water if I was not happy. But um, I think I'm just going to keep going and hope for the best and talk to you. Oh, and news. I have decided for anybody who has the availability to contribute 50 bucks, and wants to eventually become an art collector of my particular genre, um, I'm going to give 25% discount to anybody who does that. So let's hope I get this announcement out here because um, I'm not feeling overly confident about this piece right now. But there's lots of times when I don't feel overly confident. So don't anybody worry if you're not feeling your piece. Just give it a chance because things do come back around. And I do like abstract expressionist artwork every bit as much as I like, if not more so, than accidental artwork. I just posted a bunch on my Facebook pages and called them retrospective. They're kind of fun. I'm liking these, uh, I'm liking these marks. They're basically, you know, calli calligraphy, sort of, kind of, <laughs> slightly messy. But um, it's, it's given me the feeling, you know, fabric. So I know I use too much paint in there, but that doesn't matter, because I'm going to go ahead and grab this gold and make sure all of the water is off. Originally this painting, if you're just tuning in by any stretch of the imagination, uh, looked like entrails. <laughs> yeah, that's that. But if the paint is dried from yesterday, then I can wipe off whatever I want, which is kind of cool. And I don't think I need a tremendous amount of this because I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's just a sort of all over fun, nondescript. Here's <laughs> my, my excuse and I'm sticking with it. Anyway, I'm having fun. And I want a few more. Yeah, I want some of that right in there. Like I said, I didn't expect this to take a whole long time. I could just dip that far too far in there. It's, a, it's okay. I suppose we can just lay it down. I didn't use any orange and I'd kind of like to. So what am I going to do? I'm not going to do anything yet. I am going to find something <laughs> right in front of me. Ah! There's stuff everywhere. And squeeze some orange paint in there. Because I can. Yes because I really, really felt a strong desire to add orange right then. 
So do whatever feels like a very strong desire, especially if you're painting. And call it good. I never did put a lot more white in there and I'm still very tempted to do that. I think since I have a few more minutes, I'm gonna take the time to look at this for a moment and see if I want to do something else. And outside of adding some white pearl, or adding some dots, no, I think not. <laughs> you can dot with these things, which is kind of cool. And, uh, da -dum -dum. <laughs> I'm a little lost for words. I'm going to go back to my purple again. I probably could have put some blue in there happily. I could probably put every color in the rainbow in there happily and not worry about it. But, uh, I'm trying to make something happen that I really, really like a lot. I'm kind of unwilling after painting hundreds of paintings to, uh, to settle anymore. So even though I'm doing fast art, a lot of them are um, eligible for, <laughs> for recycling. Um, not that there are that many of them, but there's enough, shall we say. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. If you guys like what I do and you like the experiments that I do, please feel free um, if you can afford to contribute, to contribute whatever you can to my PayPal or my Patreon. Links are under the description along with the recipe for my paint pouring medium mixed with the acrylic colors and the amounts of everything. I think if I stop now, I may save it. <laughs> can I stop now? I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, stuff happens. Short of doing what I said I would do with some white, I really don't see the need to do anything else. So, like I said, if you want to see wet and dry Facebook, if you want to see wet and dry artworks from YouTube, go to my Facebook um, link at the bottom of the description. Also in the description is an uh, Instagram link and a link to Pinterest to my boards. And I'm looking at this and I'm wondering if there's something else I should be doing. <laughs> but I'm not thinking that I need much of anything. I kind of like it just the way it is. Maybe I won't feel that way tomorrow, but I think we're as good as we're going to get. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio saying thank you so much to all the contributors. Thank you guys for the great comments and uh, the appreciation. Yes, I do. I see something. I want something over there. Yes, that's a skewer. I'll fake it. I'm trying to think what else. There might be a book for Christmas. Um... Yeah, I like that. It's not hurting my feelings a bit anymore. I like it better than I liked it yesterday. And uh, if I really can't stand it for some reason, I'll just fix it again tomorrow. But I think this is it. I really do like it. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Priscilla out for now.